welcome back to the channel everyone i'm megan remedy holistic nutritionist and today's video is going to be a little bit different so let me know in the comments if you like this more personal style of video so today we have a special guest my husband aka daddy adrian <laughs> <laughs> And um, we are going to be discussing our transition from a vegan couple to now a non-vegan, omnivore, regular diet, whole food, normal, animal based. Normal people. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Before we get started, if you're new, make sure you subscribe, the red button down below, and we'll get into the questions. Yeah. Okay, so don't mind us, we have some wine here. Just enjoying our night. Mm -hmm. So the first question that I have for you is your first thoughts when I went non-vegan or I told you I couldn't be vegan anymore. Oh. Like your initial thoughts. <laughs> don't be afraid my... to tell me how you really <laughs> feel. <laughs> well, my initial thoughts were, um, I, I didn't care. Like, you know, initially, like, I always say, like, as long as people respect my opinion, you know, me being vegan at the time, mm -hmm. um, I didn't care. But you and I, like, connected on so many levels, like, it didn't matter if you were vegan or not. Yeah, I was yeah. kind of a little bit more of the extreme one, I mm -hmm. think. Um, I think I pushed, like, the ideology part of it a little bit more. Um... And you just like went with it. <laughs> yeah. I was but, a little bit more like crazy about it. In the beginning, yeah. I kind of like, as I started having health problems, the ideology kind of started falling apart for me. So yeah. I think towards the end, I wasn't so judgmental, especially when I started school. Um, and I started learning a lot of different um, health aspects of it. I started being less judgmental. Um yeah and you uh you did it for health yeah and you know you went through a whole phase of like trying different diets different vegan diets and then you kind of like realized that targeted down to your organs your liver you started looking at like nutrition stuff that's missing in your diet you know diet is not yeah. my forte however i just learned that from you and um, and once you started using animal products, I saw you improving, you know, particularly like the back pains that you were having, you know, and, um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, nightmare. You, you went from like, <laughs> not being able to move sometimes to actually going to the gym and working out, you know. Yeah. And just for weights. some context, yeah. he's a massage therapist. Yeah. Um, and I would constantly tell him like how much back pain I was having and he's telling me like that's not normal. Um, and at this time we were kind of like talking long distance um, and he would treat me, whenever I would see him he would treat me, he would give me a massage and stuff like that and just tell me like how tense and how ridiculous my back was. Someone said that how you have a the, uh massage therapist says your boyfriend and he only gives you one massage per week like what in the comments someone was like oh your boyfriend's a massage therapist and they only, and he only gives you one massage a week and i was like people will literally yeah. pick apart anything yeah. we were doing long distance for a while and he works like two jobs I and i work too yeah but like i mean like when yeah. you're actually massaging people in clinics yeah um and so we really didn't even have time to do more than one like he would yeah. squeeze in one massage for me and that was like, like enough or because, like me running around just kind of like yeah me around just like massages like me that. like yeah. at any time yeah. which i love which because i love, I love being now. touched no, we, could we, stop have, and... we have things okay. to do I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. okay also i was terrified to tell you that yeah. i could no longer be vegan so when I first realized that I couldn't do it anymore and it was the diet for about a day and a half, I was yeah. so stressed out because I knew I had to tell you. And you told me, and I told you, I think I told you that you're the only person that I could watch eat a whole cake. A whole cow. Like a whole cow. A whole cow. Yeah. 
And I was um, like, wow. Yeah, I was never like into this whole radical, oh my God. I didn't even know how crazy vegans were until I was no longer vegan. Because I saw the way they attacked you on the internet and I was like, mm -hmm. oh my God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Or the other people that came out that say they weren't vegan anymore and they just got destroyed by yeah. the great, peaceful, humble, compassionate, compassionate vegan community. Mm -hmm. Like, I am, I'm actually glad I'm not vegan anymore. Yeah, just, it's just because I don't be, want to be a part of that whole group. You know what I mean? It's starting to be embarrassing to yeah. like use it as a label and not because of the compassion part. Like I'm, I'm still definitely for compassion, but everything is in context and the vegan community has become something that's not compassionate anymore. Mm -hmm. And not to say that there aren't like compassionate normal vegans out there, mm -hmm. but most of them online are absolutely disgraceful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, how they treat people. Ridiculous. Um, and yeah, I was terrified to tell you, but then I realized that this was really like going to be the telltale sign moving forward, like how a relationship yeah. was going to go. Because yeah. um, if you were the type of person that was going to be like, you know, F you, I don't want anything to do with you because you yeah. don't, you know, eat the way I eat anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, then obviously you weren't going to be the person for me, but that was scary nonetheless. But I knew that like yeah. I was going to get truth out of it. Right. And yeah, yeah. I, re cause I remember, I think it was around the time that, so this YouTuber named high carb Hannah, she posted a prank video of her telling her husband that she's not vegan oh, yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. And she was like, so what you want to divorce me now? And he was like, yeah. yeah. Like, um, I wanted yeah. to raise our kids vegan. And I wanted mm -hmm. to be with someone that's vegan. So it's mm -hmm. like, and it honestly, like, broke my heart for her. Because so it's like you don't actually love the person. And you're not going to be, marriage is supposed to be through thick and thin. Mm -hmm. And just because someone for their health has to change their diet, you don't want to be with them anymore. Yeah. And, um, like, I understand, like, the, the ethical part of it and the lifestyle part of it and everything. But if you truly love that person you'll love them no matter what they decide to eat especially when it's for their health yeah that's that's not love i don't think that's well my idea of love is not oh yeah you change your diet so i no longer want you they have kids and stuff right no, chance. no they don't have kids they're trying they he yeah. got a vasectomy because oh, the wow. whole durian rider cult vegan cult was all getting vasectomies because oh, apparently during, the world is too overpopulated so it's oh, not no. vegan to have children. Oh, during got a vasectomy? Yeah. I wonder why I freely left him. <laughs> no, she wanted him to get one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Says the, uh, the pro-abortionist freely, whatever. Yeah. I don't get into that stuff, but anyway. Um, they might not be able to hear you because your voice is so, like, sultry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My I'm gonna bad. turn the volume up all the way on this one yeah. though, because the last video I was like, we can't hear you. Yeah. Okay, so moving on to the next question. How did you feel when when you first changed your diet? Like when you first incorporated oh. animal products, what did you start yeah. with? So at first, um, I was kind of like a little afraid because, you know, I remember when I was vegan, I, I went to the restaurant I'll tell you about. And, um, Which one? Oh yeah, yeah. It was a Greek restaurant. And and they gave me like the right. They gave me this lamb thing that wasn't supposed to be there. But anyway, mm -hmm. I had it. I felt really, really sick, right? And um, when so you were vegan, when I was vegan, yeah. yeah. And so I always had it in my head that if I am to change my diet, this is gonna be like painful, like right? You're get sick. Right. Yeah. So, um, when you started eating food from the farm, and you know, I know you had like food sensitivities and stuff like that, and you were okay. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I went vegan for no reason, so what the hell, you know? And mm -hmm. I saw your improvement. I saw the way you improved, and I'm like, okay. I wasn't necessarily having any uh, issues that I thought, you mm -hmm. know? And I remember I first tried the raw milk, and I just got pumped up, literally yeah. within like, 20 minutes I felt yeah. like I was in the gym I felt like you know like working out yeah. 
and you were like, wow. Because I asked you, you drank the raw milk, and then like a, a little while later, I don't remember how long it was, I was like, did you go to the gym today? Because you had the look as if you had yeah. a pump from the gym, and you're yeah. like, no. I'm like, oh my god, the raw milk like literally it did. went straight mm -hmm. to your muscles. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, um, I'm addicted to it, like completely addicted to it. Yes. I go through like two gallons a week now. It's good it's dead. stuff. It's really good stuff. Mm -hmm. Really good. Yeah. But yeah. And then from there, I started um, having, it was like a fish thing for a while, right? <laughs> it was like fish, whatever. And then. Yeah, because you... I still had, I still, still was like holding on to this idea like, eh, fish is like a safe zone, right? Mm -hmm. Um, And then I started having like organ meats and stuff like, well, bone broth. Yeah, you started with bone, the bone broth. broth and then... Well, actually, the first meat you ate was liver. Yes, I did have yeah. liver. Because, then... you want to give them some context and tell them how you grew up? Oh, yeah. I grew up eating liver, man. I grew up eating... We grew up eating organs. I grew up in Jamaica. We grew up on a... I, I grew up on a farm. Mm -hmm. Where um, I was the the primary, you know, harvester, harvester, butcher, or whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. and the organs were the thing. It's like you would kill a cow or a chicken or whatever the case may be, whatever animal it is. The organ was the thing that my brother and I were like, oh no, I want, <laughs> I want the liver, like yeah. you know what I mean. Problem we'll right. roast the heart on like a. A fire pit with some salt and pepper and then we're good mm -hmm. to go you know yeah and um so me going back to that was kind of like it was like a natural thing like you know yeah and you're six seven so it was six, clearly six eight my six eight okay yeah. excuse me Jeez, you, <laughs> you forgot my height your profile says six <laughs> seven <laughs> Well, I had Instagram since I was. But you grew since the raw milk. You grew an inch. Oh wow, <laughs> raw milk. Grow. Tell tell the kids that in school, raw milk grows you. It does. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so I grew up eating that stuff, and I went right back to it, and it's it's good. I really like the way I feel. I have a lot of energy and stuff like that. A lot. Yeah. yeah. You said you weren't like as bloated anymore. Yeah. So. Contrary to what has been told, um, the veganism bloats you a lot. Yeah. Like, I was very bloated. I'm a big guy. I'm 6'8, 240, 245. I ate a lot. And being hungry and bloated is not a fun thing. <laughs> it's not fun. Yeah, like, stuff anything it's else like, in, but you're like, like, yeah, like, you're hungry, but you're bloated. Like, all right, what do you do now? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And you're you're vegan, so you're supposed to have like this magnificent body. Like you're supposed to have like yeah. crazy, you know. But yeah. Veganism um, in a nutshell. Yeah. Like bloated but hungry. Bloated but hungry. Mm hmm Particularly like this going back to freely and this banana diet. One banana, I think I said it. Uh, yeah. yeah. And you're like Oh my god. Me too. Yeah, so... And um, you never had any digestive issues, no. health issues before no. veganism. So people want to get on my case and say like, oh, it's because you're on Accutane. And mm -hmm. oh, it's because you had IBS and, and all these things. Or you have, you know, underlying gut issues. Mm -hmm. But no, like, at first I felt great on the vegan diet because I was taking a break from like fast food and a lot of the processed foods mm -hmm. um, that were my like standard American diet and so that's what I attribute feeling better to um, getting a lot more fresh foods in but then after a while just the nature of the diet being high carb and a lot of anti-nutrients um, I just, and a lot of fiber, I just started developing gut issues because it was such a load on the digestive system. Yeah. And so you're a perfect example yeah. of it can start giving you digestive issues yeah. when you don't have them because it's yeah. just not the proper food that you're supposed to be eating or at least in that amount of excess. Yeah. And like my supplements, oh my God. I had like a draw yeah. loaded. My cabinet was loaded well mm -hmm. still is and that you just haven't taken look, any yeah. no there's no point i don't need it i don't feel like i need it but intuitively when we are on the vegan diet we would wake up every morning like oh we need our b12 we need oh, this yeah. we need that yeah. creatine this mm -hmm. bcaa's mm -hmm. before the gym yeah um 
and then when we started changing our diet we forgot about the supplements whereas yeah. before we would wake up every morning and just need that like yeah. have that feeling like something was missing or we needed something mm -hmm. yeah saving money actually the stuff yeah, is expensive it's so expensive yeah the only thing I really use now is some herbal things if I feel like I'm getting sick. Um, I love my oregano oil. Yeah. Some candida supplements here and there. Um, when I was transitioning off. And every once in a while, like, I still take the BCAAs after the gym. Yeah. But I don't need them whereas when I was vegan I you would not to. see a difference if I didn't take yeah. some kind of BCAA or protein yeah. powder or something I wouldn't notice um, growth from just like whole foods I would even keep this size if I went out when I was vegan and I'd barely work out because I'm constantly working and I'm in school so yeah and this is the thing like I only I didn't know you before you were vegan yeah. you weren't vegan so I didn't know like how much size your frame could actually hold mm -hmm. and still be healthy so mm -hmm. I didn't realize that you were skinny because you're such a big guy mm -hmm. so towards the end of your veganism I didn't realize you're that like, you were so skinny you're like, you were skinny I'm like what yeah I didn't realize you were so skinny because you don't look skinny but for you it was skinny for me it, right looking back now yeah, yeah. like when because you started putting on healthy weight I was like okay wow mm -hmm. you were skinny because at one point I was 275 and even like in your face your face yeah. did the same thing that I did where mm -hmm. it was just like so good, right? Yeah Still Don't flirt with me like that Flirt with me like that I might have to stop this video real quick <laughs> Okay cut <laughs> No uh, Next question I don't know if this up on the It's an address on it if it's the actual show is all blur it you can blur it out um okay yeah so we talked about this the differences that you noticed in you differences in me oh, diet change. Yeah. yeah 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 my um, back pain was the biggest geez. thing i don't have to give her massages like every day she wanted a massage yeah. every day. Because I was just in so much pain. I every even... day. <laughs> like, oh my God. Like, I mean, I, love I still would people, love a but massage like, every day. Could you just rub my back? Could you rub... Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Oh, your feet. Oh my goodness. Your so, yeah. feet massages. No problem. They knock me out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's called reflexology, by the way. Not okay. feet massage. Foots massage. Foots massage. <laughs> Wow, there you go. Or just a dupl two plurals, feet. You know it. <laughs> but yeah, um. So yeah, th this vegan and stuff my is. Huh? And my energy. Oh yeah, absolutely. My back pain and my energy. Absolutely. You 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 went up and wait into doing um, deadlifts and squats. And my injuries that healed. Yeah. I That's had cool. like tore my piriformis when I was yeah. here. Actually, witnessed that. And. I was just doing a simple stretch. It didn't hurt, and all of a sudden something just popped. Yeah. Like I literally heard it pop, mm -hmm. and I was in so much pain I could not walk. Like I was limping on one leg for months. It wasn't healing, and that was kind of the final straw of me before I quit um, eating the vegan diet because I needed that injury to heal. I couldn't work because I couldn't walk. And if I didn't heal it fast, I would have been in a really bad situation. Yeah. Yeah, that that was that was that was tragic. Yeah. Because you were you were literally like just laying in bed, hopping around. And I'm like, okay, maybe it's just like a you know Yeah. A hyperextension or something, but it's it's your piriformis is a very intrinsic muscle and it's like very difficult to treat. If not, impossible. You just gotta yeah. kind of like leave it and let it heal itself. I couldn't do deadlifts you for like anything. six months, and now I'm finally being able to deadlift a heavy weight without it hurting. Yeah. And it'll act up a little bit where I'll notice like when I use it, it'll kind of get inflamed before it heals. But that's just like while it's healing, and then it goes back to being yeah. okay and not yeah. hurting anymore. It's just like yeah. while I I use it and kind of tear the muscle again, it hurts yeah. more than a normal muscle because of that injury. But then it will heal a couple days later, whereas 
before I literally couldn't even use it. That's how damaged yeah, it was. And it wasn't getting better on a vegan diet whatsoever. It wasn't. And the same knee on that side was just in a lot of pain for reasons I don't know why. I still don't really know exactly why my back was hurting so much. Like, I'm guessing it was a little bit of oxalates because every time I would eat, I would get, like, stabbing It happened pain. right after you eat. You would eat and, like... Yeah. You would know if the food was terrible... Because of my back Because of response. your back. yeah. Which was... I was like, what? You yeah, would eat and, like, on my back and start And I'm like, wow, okay. Yeah. And it became, like, a thing. Yeah. You know? And then as soon as I started eating animal products, my back pain, like almost instantly went away and I remember calling him and like bawling my eyes out because I thought that it had some kind of like disease I thought something was seriously wrong with me because of how much pain I was in like back cancer or like something crazy back all cancer. these things were going through my mind he's like you don't have freaking back, back cancer. cancer what's wrong with wow. you and I was like what? why does it hurt Google so that much real quick. <laughs> look that up and then I called you and I was like crying like it's the diet yeah. it's not back cancer yeah and then you went through some serious detox. Yeah, the yeah. first month. First like month. The first month I changed my diet, my period was horrendous. Yeah. Like I was on the couch like screaming in agony. Yeah. And you're just like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do for you. Do you want a throw, tea? Throw, throw chocolate in the room and just <laughs> run away. Like, uh, I don't know what to do here, woman. Chocolate in a heat pad. A heat pad, you know, hot water bottles, something. Yeah. But yeah. Next question. Oh yeah, we kind of discussed this, like your your views on how the vegan community reacted to me, yeah, or vegans in terrible. general, like how they the comments that they. Yeah, I didn't had. know they were so radical. I didn't know they were so radical. Like you know, who, whichever vegan is watching this, you guys need to chill out. You guys need to chill out. And, and like when I was a vegan, yeah, when I was a vegan, I never imposed my myself onto anyone or mm -hmm. shut. As a matter of fact, I was the only, she's the only vegan that I know. There was a woman at work that I've heard about and I never met her, but she was the only person that I knew who was vegan. None of my friends are vegan. My family is not. They ask, oh, you know, maybe I should try this and do you have any recommendations? Yeah, sure. I would recommend it because at the time I felt great. Mm -hmm. I thought, you know what I mean? So, I, I I don't want to be associated with vegans anymore because... Just too judgmental. It's too... too well, I don't think I'll ever yeah. go back to eating like a 100% plant-based diet. But even in the future, I don't know what it holds. I might, you know, go back to eating more plants. I barely eat any right now. But it'll never be 100%. But even mm -hmm. if it was, I would never call myself vegan again. No. Because of, as soon as you say, as soon as you tell someone that you're vegan, they immediately, like, back away or, like, Cause they shut down it. or they just think that you're judging them. Like, exactly. I remember a girl at my school, she was eating her lunch and it was, like, fish or something at school. And I was just minding my business, like, eating my lunch. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, for what? She's like, for my fish. Is it bothering yeah. you? And I was like, no. Oh, my God. Like, eat your lunch. Like, don't yeah. worry about me. I I was never, like, that vegan. And I think that's why when people say, oh, you were never vegan. Like, maybe I wasn't. Maybe I was oh. never vegan. I was heavily into, yeah. you know, the animal rights stuff and all of that. But it was never to the point where I would go on someone else's social media and attack them for not being vegan anymore. Or attack them for eating animal products. Like, that was never, that never happened. Yeah. Not cool. Let people mm -hmm. eat who they are. Because most of you vegans once were not vegans. And I think you would hate for people to attack you for, mm -hmm. I don't know, drinking the milk that you grew up eating, eating your yeah. cereal, you know? You should die because you had milk. Like, relax. Not that yeah, serious. you weren't vegan because you had breast milk. Yeah, and like, look at Vegan Deterioration's page. It shows you, like, it's not the healthiest diet. It's extreme. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I'm not a, I don't, she's a, she's a CNP holistic nutritionist uh, that's not my feel however one thing i do mm -hmm. know is that it's better sourcing is really what's important where does your food come from not not really yeah a particular diet you know 
Yeah, because vegetables could be very um, unhealthy, the yeah. way that they're grown, um, harvested, genetically modified, mm. patented, etc. And meat can be very unhealthy. Animal products can be very unhealthy. Mm -hmm. The whole food system is corrupt, mm -hmm. so you just have to source your food properly. And that's probably why you had that bad reaction to the meat at that restaurant yeah. because one, it was probably, probably bad yeah. quality, mm -hmm. and two, I think that it's it's a lot of in your head. You know oh what yeah, I mean? of like course. oh my god, I ate meat. Like the same thing happens. It to was. Me. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, I hate meat. Like I'm gonna die. Like that mm -hmm. was like a mindset, and the mind is very powerful. Like you can talk yourself in to mm -hmm. so many things, and I definitely talked myself into veganism. Well, that's what the community Here does too. That's the platform of the the community. It's like you, your your hair products that should mm -hmm. not have animal products, and if it is, you're gonna die. Like, come on. You know, relax, yeah. calm down. You guys are too radical. Yeah. But anyway, source your food, um, balanced diet, not the typical food pyramid. I, I don't think that's accurate at all. And did yeah. you say uh, Canada took away a... Uh, well, Canada's new food, food guide is pretty much happen. all plant-based. Yeah. They have like literally like a quarter of an egg and like a tiny piece of fish or something like in the protein section with beans yeah. and stuff. Um, I'll put a picture up here, but yeah, th so they're not like uh, claiming that it should be like a hundred percent plant-based or vegan, but they're, they're moving towards that direction and visually they're trying to do that and visually only putting like a quarter of an egg. It's like, you know what they're doing, like subliminally, yeah. you know what they're getting in at. Five you know years, it won't doing. be there anymore. Yeah. In five be, years, that quarter egg will be missing. It's going to turn into tempeh bacon or something. Um, something yeah. crazy. But yeah, so what's your food, man? I'm glad you found that farm. Yeah, we get yeah. like most of our food from a local yeah. farm. And mm -hmm. I can't even go back to eating like normal eggs and and normal yeah. meat just because it's it's so flavorful. I think as more people like support these farms, there would be more of them because it's so hard to, yes. for them to kind of like be out there. They're competing mm -hmm. with corporate giants. And I think we all know how that goes already, so... And that's the other thing is that people will say that grass-fed meat or like pasture-raised animals is not sustainable, but I recently did a drive from New York City all the way through down into Buffalo, the Canadian side, and all the way down the Canadian side. Um, and if you have ever drive that way even just like from new york city to buffalo all the way to the border like niagara falls you'll see how many farms there are and this is just like along the highway how much farms there are how many grasslands there are a lot of them aren't even being put to use or a lot of them only have like a few cows on them there's so much land yeah. There's so much land this idea that like grass-fed animals is not sustainable is just ridiculous um, ruminant animals are necessary for the soil health and one cow can last somebody so long like my parents literally buy half a cow and it yeah. lasts them a whole year but you ate like a quarter of that in two months no we had a few steaks <laughs> a few steaks but yeah a few steaks per day because people <laughs> don't buy their meat like that they don't yeah. understand how long a whole yeah. cow can last you especially you if you're eating the organs like you're eating everything yeah. Like, of yeah. course, it's not sustainable when you just want, like, this perfect cut, cut of cut. meat. Yeah. Obviously, you're going to have to kill so many animals mm -hmm. for that one cut of meat. But if you're yeah. eating nose to tail and you're buying, like, a whole animal at once, like a bulk animal, yeah. it's way more, it's way more sustainable. And if that animal is grass-fed, it's giving back to the earth, it's giving back to the soil, mm -hmm. and it's not a problem for the environment. Yeah. That's, Anything uh, food, else you want to say? Thought. That'll be it, man. Since we're through the questions. Anything uh, you want to ask me? We do after this. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I wanted to, to mention that was weird was that when I was vegan, I wanted a vegan guy. Like, I oh, actually yeah. met you. Okay, so this is how we met. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted a vegan boyfriend, and I was online searching, like, vegan guys, this and that, and I came across the hashtag vegan dude share. And it was this Instagram, so shout out to Vegan Dude Share because you're the reason why we met. Yeah. Um, 
called Vegan Dude Share, and I was scrolling through all the pictures, and I was like, eh, 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 eh. and then I seen his picture, and I was the, like, hmm. The flies dude on the page. <laughs> and so I followed him, and then you followed me, and we yeah. had followed each other for years before we yeah. actually started talking. Yeah. We had been in other relationships, and mm -hmm. dealing with school, and all kinds of other stuff, but we always, like, kept an eye on each other. Yeah. On Instagram. She, uh, she slid in my DM. No, you slid in my DMs. <laughs> you slid in my DMs and I was like, finally. About time, right? <laughs> um, yeah. You know, yeah. When I think about the reason why the hell I went vegan, I'm like, I had no reason to go vegan. But then when you look at it, it's like, if I never went vegan, I would have never met you. Mm -hmm. Me too, because I would have never been searching for a vegan right. boyfriend or partner. As a matter of fact, and... that day, I went to a vegan restaurant. It's yeah. called uh, Gus Organics. It's not close. Mm -hmm. It's in Union Square, Manhattan. Shout yeah, out so to Gus Organics, even though you're demised, whatever. When I uh, was vegan, I wanted a vegan partner because I thought, oh, you know, it's nice to have a compassionate guy that cares about animals and this and that. And raise your um, kids vegan and stuff like yeah. that. And all of that, and then when I realized that it wasn't the healthiest diet, especially for me, um, my mindset like shifted to immediately like I don't think it's manly to be vegan yeah. because I was like yeah. obviously yeah. I still want the person that I'm with to be compassionate yeah. towards animals and this and that um, you know don't cause unnecessary harm but at the same time you you want a man to be able to step up and hunt or like step up and if you really need food to to be the man of the house yeah you know yeah. I mean, from an evolutionary standpoint, it makes sense. Yeah. I'm a meat eater. It's kind of like associated with like a, a man. Yeah. You know, all these little things make sense, right? Mm-hmm. Right. It was just, it was more of like a, an instinct thing or a hormonal thing where I started being like attracted to meat eaters again when I started eating. Does that make sense? Are you, are you trying to say you weren't attracted to me? The two, no, I was always the, attracted to you. The two months you, but... where she was vegan and I wasn't? No, I was always attracted to you, but it was just this thing in the back of my head, like, you know? I know, I know. Um, yeah. And when you it first just... told me that you wanted to try milk when you were still vegan, I was like, are you sure? You don't have to do this for me. Yeah. Because I didn't want you to feel pressured by me. No, I wasn't. Because we were literally in the house cooking different meals. She was making, yeah. like, steaks. Bone and, broth and whatever. Yeah, bone yeah. broth. And I was helping her do it vegan of the year <laughs> but yeah. so yeah i yeah. hope you guys enjoy this style of video it's definitely a little bit more personal yeah. so let me know in the comments if you enjoy this video and we will do more of them um if you like this video give it a thumbs up make sure to share it if you think it would help someone and if you're new subscribe and we will see you later